Superstars feeling like a pop star. Drinking in the bed, jumping in the pool, and I ain't got on no bra. Front of back, pulling on the tracks, and now she screaming out, no more. They like Savage, why you got a 12 car garage and you only got six cars? Turn NXT and WWE with a newfound passion we'll see on display tonight. So impressive since coming back. Drew really values this second opportunity. Back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. You gotta believe this one's over. Roman Re Superman punch. Can he finish the job? Uh oh, right to the body. That hurts. Oh, oh. He's going for the pin. He's in full control now. Oh, here we go. Wow, Roman Reigns is being controlled. He has something big planned. Vicious strike. Not sure how much more McIntyre can take. Well, I can promise it's not much. I wouldn't be surprised if he just passes out right here. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a beating he's taken. You can see the lights are on, but clearly nobody's home. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. And if he hits Superman punch, good night. Here's his moment, Michael. Oh. Spear! Spear! Game, set, cover here. This singles contest has the victor. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns.
Django. I 85 on the Benji. Had to park it for by for say the G. Why by the check? And there's the bell. And here we go. This Ouch. is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Most of the time, I don't understand Samoa Joe's problem. I understand healthy competition in WWE, oh. but Joe takes it to a dangerous level. Saxon, I wouldn't expect you to understand Samoa Joe's mindset. He has the instincts of an assassin, something very few possess. Ooh! So quick. What a headbutt. Vicious. The running senton. Crushing impact. He's starting to step. Oh, man. Uh-oh. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. What a headbutt. Vicious. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. Nailed it. No, he reverses it. And no luck against Joe there. Uh -uh. And look at the quickness by Ricochet. Harsh impact. He's struggling a bit here. He's always up for a challenge, and tonight is no different. Here we go. Back inside the ring. Samoan drop. Crushing impact. Joe is rolling and he doesn't have an answer for it. Oh, wow. Samoa Joe looking to inflict maximum damage. Could this be? There's part two. Will we see the completion? Camaraplex. Oh, it's over. Ricochet has certainly made an impression on the scene of sports entertainment. Ricochet's unique gifts are no accident since it. Superstar top rope. Oh, oh no. Up, lift him up. Here it comes. Do it. No. Muscle Buster. That's what he was looking for, Michael. His shoulders are down. One, two, three. Samoa Joe wins. I can't say that I'm surprised. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. Gotta be honest with you. I'm kind of glad that match is over. He comes out with a W, but it wasn't very pretty. United States Champion, Samoa Joe! Extremely impressive win, guys. Wow, when you pick.
wasn't ready to be a millionaire. I was ill prepared. I was prepared to be ill, though. The skill was there. In the beginning, it wasn't about the ends. It was about busting raps and standing for something. Acronym, cut the f act like you're happy. I'm back again with another anthem. What's up when it doesn't have to end? It ain't over till I say it's over. Enough for me. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. It's Little Miss Bliss! What's this? Negotiations have broken down and we now have to, a war on our hands. Yeah, they couldn't wait to get a hold of each other. Oh, oh, oh right to the skull. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricanrana. Beautiful technique. Scoop slam. Uh-oh. Look at that breaker. That'll realign your vertebrae. This might be it. Oh, my. The huggable one taking on the goddess. Storied history between these two. One that has spelled heartache for Bailey and glee for Alexa. Yeah, Bailey was living a fairy tale defending her Raw Women's Championship in her home of San Jose. Unfortunately, sometimes the Wicked Witch wins, and Alexa spoiled Bailey's homecoming. I don't know who's looking more forward to this. Ouch. The women in the ring or me? You know, Byron, I thought. Uh oh, guys. Uh, this is going to be great. She's got her in her sights. And it's Mickey James making a move. Oh, spiking DDT. Incredible. That just echoed throughout this entire arena. She goes for the cover. And the champ kicks out. Wow. Float over. Oh. And it was DDT. Fight them. Elbow finds its mark. And it's Alexa Bliss with the reversal. Better be careful not to get disqualified. Alexa Bliss has plenty of championship reigns to her name, but she's done it at the expense of the many former friends she's left in her wake. Oh, boo. The horrible one. Oh, oh, nice suplex. Nice. Shut it down. Oh, here it comes. Oh. Belly to belly. That's it. That's what she needed. That should do it, Cole. There's no coming back from a slam of that magnitude. You guys discussed Bliss's broken friendships before, and I have to list them out. She dumped Blake and Murphy on NXT. She disrespected Mickey James after bringing her. Here comes Bailey. Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a good reason for this, Cole, because she just had her seconds away from tapping. I think. Wait a minute. Ooh, what impact. Point of the elbow. Nailed it. And Bailey evades that one. Don't break your crown. What a clothesline! Ouch! And now it's Bailey on her heels. This is not how she drew this one up. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. I think a lot of people assumed she was going to pick up an easy win here tonight, but that doesn't seem to be the case right now. 
She goes for the cover. Digging deep for a kick out. Very admirable performance here, but you have to wonder if she's risking permanent injury. Oh, an elbow drop. Up the turnbuckle goes Bailey. Look out! Oh, what impact! The cover. What? Oh! What a stomp! Good grief! When she gets in attack mode, look out! With a Bailey Plex. Looks like another victory for the champ, Michael. Oh, here it comes! Bailey to belly! Bliss is out of it, guys. Even better the second time around. The cover, and this one's history. What a win. These women put on quite a show. Here's another look. Critics of these ladies in the WWE might not have been very impressed, but they did do some nice things in there. Here's your winner. this man I don't have an answer for you Michael Cole an absolutely immense human being that on the way to the ring and here we go folks as we get this tag team match started doesn't get any better than this we're about to witness tag team action at its finest fellas Unbelievable athleticism. Oh, nasty impact. Drop kick. Great athleticism. Here we go. The challenger's taking on some offense. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. I know it's early, but if things stayed the way they are, winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him.
We've seen superstars come back from long-term injuries with a newfound passion. And that's certainly been the case with Daniel Bryan's return to action in 2018. Michael Cole, you ain't kidding. His return match at WrestleMania saw Bryan and Shane McMahon permanently derail Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn's yet movement, much to the enjoyment of the 78,000 plus fans in New Orleans. Corey, you and Michael mentioned Daniel Bryan's newfound passion in 2018. We really saw Bryan's never give up spirit at the Greatest Royal Rumble when he broke Rey Mysterio's record for the most time spent in a single Royal Rumble match. It was one hour, 20 minutes to be exact. Daniel Bryan entered it number one and lasted all the way to be the second to last elimination in the unprecedented 50-man match. He wants no part of the outside. Almost there. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Oh, look at that. Plants him. Nicely done. Oh, what a nasty knee lift. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Big back drop. We might just see it here. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Lightning fast reflexes. Goes down hard. Drop kick. Great athleticism. Set him up. <laughs> Otis Dochevic has been roughed up pretty hard here. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag team match. Oh, come on. Just put him out of his misery already. This is getting ridiculous. Just when you thought we were going to crown a new champion. Hard not to be impressed by that combination. Here he goes. Boom, what impact. This one's over, guys. The champion into the cover. A win like that says a lot about a duo. And here's another pick of the moves you saw in that match. Overall, this match was average at best. But not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. That was a big pinfall victory right there. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. And it'll be interesting to see the ripple effects this win has in the weeks to come.
So exciting to see the power of Tazawa! Ah, ah, ah. The premier athlete has arrived. Byron, get ready to count abs. You might need to take your shoes off. Here we go as this triple threat match gets underway. Tozawa, so quick, so dangerous. I'll tell you guys, I joined one of Akira Tozawa's fierce training sessions, and I can barely make it back to my car after. I refuse to believe you actually did it and survived. Tozawa's a freak when he's training. I'd have been fine, though. Beautiful technique. Line forcefully delivered. It's always important to get off to a strong start in a match. It's even more important to do that in a triple threat match, given that you're going up against two opponents at the same time. Add to that the no disqualification stipulation, and there's little to no room for error. One mistake, and it can cost you a lot more in winning the match. What a stomp! Good grief! Byron, you spoke about this before. A competitor must do everything they can do to start things off on the right foot in a triple threat match. One way to do that is to target one of your opponents and go after them as soon as the bell rings. You're battling two opponents at the same time, so it's hunt or be hunted. And that's what I like, Michael. It's survival of the fittest in that ring. In a triple threat, a superstar can't waste time feeling opponents out, getting warmed up, or easing their way into the match. You have to go at it as soon as the match begins. Oh, right to the side of the face. Challenger starting to falter. So much on the line here in the match for oh, him. Man. Folks, all you gotta do is take one look at Tony Nese to realize he's a perfectionist. I mean, just look at his perfectly slick back hair and amazing physique. The man simply won't settle for anything less than perfect. What a strike! And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. You gotta believe this one's over! Byron mentioned Tony Nese's perfect hair and amazing physique, and when it comes to that physique, Corey, there's no doubt Nice has a second residence at his local gym. Oh yeah, Nice's abs have abs, Cole, and I assure you, you don't get that sort of physique by accident. You also don't get it by eating carbs. I wonder how long it's been since the Long Island native even looked at a bagel. on the apron. Oh, this oh. is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Man, what a slam. One thing's for certain, Corey, Tony Nese has a certain air about him. It's just his attitude. Walks around like he owns the place. Got him some slack, Cole. There's not really much Nese could do about it. He's from New York. There's no question that all New Yorkers have that attitude about him. Close quarters. Oh, the human torch up and down. What a slam. On the topic of Tony Nese being a New Yorker, he is the latest in a long line of Long Islanders to find success in WWE. Of course, most notably, there's Mick Foley. Well, I guess we can't forget about Zack Ryder, who might be the only guy who takes more gym selfies than the premier athlete. It's a good thing Foley never takes gym selfies, so I guess it all evens out. Close quarters. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Mm. 
When Drake Maverick became the general manager of 205 Live, one of his goals was to motivate his talent. His primary target was Drew Gulak, who Maverick said had become a goose. Boom! Boom! Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Shoulder tackle! Michael, you mentioned Drake Maverick's interaction with Drew Gulak. I really think it woke something up in Gulak. Just check out the intensity he brought into subsequent matches against the likes of Tony Nese and Mark Andrews. It's all about balance, gentlemen. We can have a Drew Gulak who's ruthless in the ring and with presentation software. Now there's even more reason to worry about getting on Gulak's bad side. Oh boy, he is rolling. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. He's making a statement here with this attack. Whoa, the Southern Lights suplex. You don't see that very often. Got nailed it. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh, here it is, the drop. Harsh impact. Can he finish the job? There it is. Now the question is, can Gulak finish? This might be it! Oh, my! That's gonna be woozy after that impact. That should do it! Keep your eye on this one. He's looking at it. Ooh, what impact! He's able to reverse it. The challenger looking absolutely exhausted in there. There's a very real chance he might not be able to recover from this here in this triple threat match. He's in awful shape here, guys. But hey, that's what happens when you step in the ring with two of the most dangerous superstars in all of WWE. Ooh, right in the face! Destroyed! The champ with reason to be concerned. And you have to wonder how much more the champ has to give. You'd have to think he came into this total nasty impact. But he's got to capitalize now. That's, look at that. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Uh-oh. Dragon to the left. It's in, it's in. Night, night. And there it is, boys. Here's a cover. And he got a near fall out of it. Oh, man, it has got to be the power of Tazawa that is keeping him alive right now. That phrase is copywritten by Titus Worldwide, Rep Byron. You're not going to win many matches absorbing punishment like that. Looking to end this thing. Can they step through? Yes. Going for something else, it seems. I suspect he knows something that we don't, Cole. Why else would he just let him out of that hole? He might have it. Now back to the ring. I don't think he's got it completely lost. Oh, what a roundhouse kick. Can he finish him off here? It took two, but it looks like that one should do the trick. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. New champion, new champion. And the champ kicks out. Just needs to do more damage. Oh boy, he is rolling. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. Three. Yes, takes it. Now is a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. Here is your winner, and the new WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Akira Tazawa!
Talk about having it. before the broadcast and wanted me to inform everyone that this is now the Kevin Owens Show. Yes, I can't wait to be a part of that. Oh. Guys, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned tag team match. Look at the presumptuous attitude of Kevin Owens. It's called confidence, Saxton, and all the elite superstars have it. You have to walk in believing you're going to beat up your oh. opponent. Big elbow. Dominating shoulder tackle. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, a sharp one right to the cheekbone. Powerbomb planted. Kevin Owens may be in a bad way here. Heading into this match, he and his partner look oh. extremely confident. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind. What does Xavier Woods have in store? This might not have been a wise move for him here, Michael. What a stomp! Good grief! Ah, face breaker! What's coming next? Vertical suplex! Nice! Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2007. Woods with his opponent. Oh, man, face first, wheelbarrow, face buster. That's what he was looking for, Michael. This is exactly what Xavier Woods was looking for. Shot block. Tag made. Oh, I think something bad is about to happen to their opponent. What impact. Things are 
going so well for Kevin Owens. He goes for the cover. This might be it. Oh, my. Beautiful technique. We've got a cover. Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. Elbow drop. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. A quick reversal by Kevin Owens. And Big E manages to reverse out of that one. Powerbomb! There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have full... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Oh, the old head scissor. Harsh impact. The elbow. Well, I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. It's hard to look at Sami Zayn now and think of him as an inspiring figure, but that's exactly who he was in his time at NXT. In fact, he was widely regarded as the heart and soul of NXT. Big E tagged in. Sami Zayn in a potentially bad spot right here. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. Michael went back to a time when Sami Zayn was synonymous with NXT. His attitude back then was a far cry from where it is today. Now I wonder if everything we saw from Sami in NXT was just a ruse. No, why are you guys trying to rewrite the success Sami had at NXT? Just because you and everyone else turned their back. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. When this guy's on, look out. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Big E, this is going to be... Oh, what a combo! That has got to be it. Look at that tremendous ring presence. Very impressive. He's got him covered. And an air fall. Wow, looked like Sami Zayn was cooked, but he kicks out to survive, despite being in really bad shape. Big E with a big ending. Here's his moment. Penny predicament. And he kicks out. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? You gotta believe this one's over. Xavier Woods in with the tag. Ooh. Xavier Woods done playing. Is he done? No, he releases the holes. What in the world is he thinking? Does he not want to win? If I was Big E, I'd concentrate more on winning the match than playing to the crowd. When it comes to video game... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. DDT! Yeah, and he's feeding off it right now. Let's see if he can keep it up. Xavier Woods. Wheelbarrow face buster. Nice. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Sorry, but I was momentarily in awe of the fact that you didn't... Tag made. Oh, I think something bad is about to happen to their opponent. Oh, man down. Things aren't going so well for Kevin Owens. He's got the shoulders down. 
What a tag team display. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's Here worth from the opening bell. is so great. A young lady who has prided herself on being different. A young lady who has prided... Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. going through the arena. Rough landing. Oh, no, this isn't going to end well. Oh, oh, my God. Surfboard leg breaker. Toss to the outside. The challenger's starting to slow down a bit here. She's got to remember her championship dreams are on the line here. Well, she certainly seems to favor being outside the ring. Though for the life of me, I cannot figure out why. She's really had a tough time getting out of the gates here tonight. She needs to make a change, and she needs to make it now. Oh, man, that hurt. Big flying forearm. When we talk about historic WWE debuts, there are not too many superstars who were introduced to the WWE Universe with the anticipation and excitement of the Iris last kicker, Becky Lynch. Ah, backdrop suplex. To elaborate on the point you made, Byron, since 2015, the women of WWE have been on an historic journey. 
and Becky Lynch is one of those who have sparked the women's evolution. Look, gentlemen, I was one of the first to publicly acknowledge Becky Lynch's incredible ability during her time in NXT. I knew her debut. There it is. Nice exploder suplex. She has got to take advantage here. The champion into the cover. The champ retains. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. Here's your winner. And still the Raw Women's Steal of a cage match. Kobe Kingston has some of the most innovative moves and evasions you will ever see inside a WWE ring. Yeah, in a ladder match or a Royal Rumble, you can expect him to make history. But the guy can win in just about any environment. <laughs> Hooked up. Uh. Inverted suplex. That hurt. Trap the arm. Oh, nasty impact. Big move coming. Wait for it. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. Kobe Kingston is bursting at the seams with energy and positivity. The power Kobe gets from his unicorns, the WWE Universe, and Budio Serial makes him quite the force to be reckoned with in the ring. Boom, what impact! Drop kick! It's the mark. This could be it. It's no secret that Kofi's excitement is personified when that bell rings. Kingston's style has endeared him to the WWE Universe and made him a huge factor in the New Day's success. Look, Kofi Kingston's not going to back down from a challenge. When you have the ability to fly like Kofi, you don't fear anybody. Turning it around, it's Kofi Kingston with the reversal. Hooked up. Uh, 
Inverted suplex. That hurt. Kobe Kingston's highly trained in many forms of self defense. Counter here. Oh boy, he is rolling. Drop kick. Oh, oh, great height. With a 180, Kobe Kingston, the reversal. If you know Kofi Kingston away from the bright lights of WWE, then you know he spends several hours a day studying Capoeira. Kofi's immersed himself in his discipline that many expert fields defies description. Kofi Kingston's a special kind of athlete. Once you look up what Capoeira is, you can see how strongly it's influenced Kofi's in-ring style and the approach to his career as a whole. It's one of the key things that makes Kofi who he is. Hooked up. Uh, some might remember seeing him as a caddy or a cheerleader. But once... Here it goes! Uh-oh! Oh, damage to the body. Is it enough, though? Unbelievable hang time. Kofi Kingston is in position. Kofi... You can feel this one slipping away from Ziggler. Oh man, Dolph Ziggler really... The champion retains. The champion retains. Ziggler was also an amateur wrestling star at Kent State University. And in WWE, Dolph held the World Heavyweight Championship, Intercontinental title, and U.S. Championship. The man is also a former Mr. Money in the Bank. The self-proclaimed show-off is one of the WWE... You can expect these superstars to put their bodies on the line to take each other down. These superstars have waited a long time for this match to take place. And this oh, is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Hey, if Seth Rollins decides to burn it down tonight, oh, uh, hey, Corey, can I borrow your water bottle? I'll tell you what, Byron, if you really want to stay safe, how about you leave? Seth Rollins is looking for the decisive end. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. Trap the arm into the neck breaker. Close quarters. What grace float over into the Oof. We 
know that Seth Rollins is a top competitor here in WWE, but he isn't without his faults. How can his opponent expose any flaws? If you had to point out one flaw in the game of Seth Rollins, it's that he tends to be a very highly emotional competitor. Seth tends to get inside of his own head and get distracted from the task at hand. Salt. You see that height. The champion into the cover. You know, Byron, as Corey alluded to, we've seen how Seth Rollins can allow his emotions to steer him in the wrong direction and take his eyes off the prize. Yeah, nothing was more evident of that than when he and Dean Ambrose lost their tag team championships because they were preoccupied with an invading New Day instead of focusing on their challengers. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Seth Rollins. Finish the job. No way. A stand of days. This is all but over. This could do it. Two. Digging deep for a kick out. Gonna take more than that. Seth Rollins is looking for the decisive end. Yeah, right to the oh. back of the neck. Just when you thought the champion into the cover. Two, three. I don't believe it. The match is over. And here's another look at what made that match so special. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. And still, WWE Universe.